Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Microsoft is thinking of reducing the time lost to computer issues. And in last week's beta channel um, build that rolled out late on Friday in my part of the world, Microsoft has launched a feature called Quick Machine Recovery, which is a new automated tool for addressing problems. With Microsoft calling the new tool, a tool that automatically detects, diagnoses and resolves critical issues on your device. Now Microsoft has also indicated that the tool will eventually be enabled by default for Windows 11 home devices. But at this stage, the main aim of this tool is to reduce the workload of IT departments, which will make it possible to have issues addressed automatically. And Microsoft has said that the tool will automate fixes and quickly get users to a productive state without requiring complex manual intervention. And I'm getting, and with this tool, I'm getting a bit of a vibe regarding the CrowdStrike outage that occurred a couple of months back, which was a massive outage. And I think if there was a so-called tool like this, I think it would have saved a lot of IT departments a lot of headache and a lot of frustration. Now. If you're asking the question, how does this actual recovery process look? Microsoft has broken it down from the announcement. So they say that in the event of a widespread outage, there are a couple of steps that will take place. The first is if a Windows 11 version 24 H2 device encounters a critical failure preventing normal boot, it enters Windows RE, the Windows recovery environment. The next Second step is that Windows RE connects to the network using Ethernet or Wi-Fi protected access, ensuring the device can communicate with Microsoft's recovery services. And then the third step is Microsoft says they will analyze crash data from affected devices to identify patterns and pinpoint the root cause. If a widespread outage is detected, an internal response team is activated to develop, validate and prepare a targeted remediation. And then the fourth uh, step in the recovery process is Microsoft says in this initial release, Microsoft will deliver the remediation via Windows Update adhering to the update policies configured on the device. Microsoft says it will safely roll out the remediation. So those are the four steps in the recovery process according to Microsoft in case you would be interested. And I think an important part of this is for your average home user, I think the ability to be able to disable the quick machine recovery will be important for many um, home users. But I think for corporations and enterprises, Microsoft is hoping that the tool will be well received. I think in hindsight, talking about, as mentioned earlier, the CrowdStrike outage that affected millions of Windows devices a couple of months ago. And I'll keep my eye on this. It's in the beta channel, so there's a very good chance that this will make its way to the stable. And if and when that ever happens, I'll try and keep you posted. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.